All right. Let's see what we got here. We're gonna check the up or the status on the <coughs> sump baffle test. This is my first time coming in here, so first time for both of us. Oh, that's nice. Completely dry. Sweet. Well. I mean, it's not a real true test, but shoot, heck, it's a heck of a lot better than just throwing it in there, you know, and having it break while there's like salt water and, you know, all that other good stuff. And, oh, and while it's in my stand that it's not coming out of unless I drain my tank or cut a hole in something. So, yeah, I want this thing to work and you don't have to deal with it. There's water in there. Just kind of moving the baffles, seeing if they're, and they're pretty good, and they are. Sweet. All right, well, that's that's a good sign. Now I just got to throw this little guy in here, do one of these jobbers, pump her out of there. Except for one-handed, doesn't work all that great. And then, dry it out, pull it out, and, uh... Other stuff. I got. Oh, I'm gonna do an unboxing of the RO unit I got going on here. So that'll be coming up too. All right. See ya. All right. Here's the uh, unboxing of stuff. Two gallon kit, calcium chloride, soda ash, and magnesium mix. Recipe one. That'd be the TDS meter directions. TDS meter there, things built built well. It's all aluminum or st or steel. I, don't, I can't really tell. I think it's steel. And uh, here's the in and out for the t for the TDS meter. It's already hooked up for you and everything. That is nice. It's already stuck on there. Man, they they do a good job. Look at that. I'd think it would be coming in different packages, and you'd have to be doing it and splicing and lining, you know, like happy stuff. But that's cool. That's that's done there. That is sweet. That thing make, they make it easy. I got the uh, RO unit, the um, RO, the 75 gallon per day RODI 5 stage plus system. So it comes with the uh, pressure gauge, comes with the TDS meter, obviously the DR cartridge as you saw, the flush kit, which is this guy here. Which helps flush uh, deposits off the or the yeah the membrane here the RO membrane so longevity of the membrane is you know makes it last a lot longer um, and goes through your uh, micron first then you'll and you can see the micron it's just like a that'd be like your mechanical filtration um, two carbon blocks which is helps get rid of the odor and good well you know whatever carbon helps get rid of it's, it's a pre filter for the membrane. Um, helps pre-filter it, and then I think it gets rid of, or helps reduce chlorine. But I could be wrong. I don't know. And then the membrane, which does a lot of the work, most of the work, and uh, that'd be on top there. And then I'll have this coming out wherever the out is coming out into the DI. So then you'll have you know, deionization and zero TDS sweetness. Pressure gauge there is pretty sweet. Probably can't even see what the heck I'm showing. You. There you go. I believe you don't want it less than 40. Could be wrong. If you're coming out of your tap and it's you know less than 40 and you need a booster pump, I, I, I gotta read again. I can't really remember. I know someone was doing it with 30 and was getting zero CDS, so whatever. Let's see what they got for stuff here. Little ball valve. This is just extra parts that go on. Ball valve, one of these doohicks to get rid of the, you know what I mean, change your filters. This guy here, I forget which one. I think this one's, I think this one goes in, in line with your flexible hose under your sink, but I don't have that. I have copper, which really sucks. I'm in an apartment, so I can't really do anything about it. This is drain line stuff. <clears throat> this is probably what I'll be using. The, uh, this doohick here. Come on. There we go. It's the uh, air uh, aerator. 
I forget what they're called. It goes on the end of your sink. That's all that matters. And it's got ball valve, throw the ball valve. So now it's going right down your RO. If you don't want your RO, it goes on your sink. Regular, good deal. It's in the way you see it, but you know what? I don't gotta start tearing stuff apart. There's a garden hose connection. And then this is if you want to hard plumb it into your uh, copper. I don't know if you can even see that, but hard plumb it into your copper piping pierces. I forget what they're called too. But you know what? I know how they all work. I just don't know the names. And yeah, you guys probably bored. So yeah, I'm good. So, you know, good deal. They gave me everything I asked for. Paid for, I guess, I should say. And uh, I'm going to hook this baby up today. And I got to go to the Home, home Depot. And, no, not Home Depot. Lowe's. I got to go to Lowe's, not Home Depot. I got to go to Lowe's and get the uh, uh, brute trash can for the for the whole my RO, or RO water. Eventually salt water mixing station sort of a deal. And um, I'm going to pull that sump out of there and, yeah, well, do some stuff. Okay. All right. Got this thing uh, hooked up here. My washer's gone. Hopefully you guys can hear me again. Anyway, uh, yeah, I got two bathrooms and a kitchen in my apartment. And both bathrooms where I was planning on hooking this up, or one of the bathrooms, uh, both of them have the wrong connection on the uh, faucet out instead of male on the sink it was a female so couldn't hook it up so I was like you know what I gotta get this running so I just hooked it up to the kitchen and it looks like a big rat's nest of cables <laughs> but it's just a test and to flush it out in the beginning here so I got my my you know good water coming in the black is gonna is a wastewater and then the blue here coming out of the DI is, is you know good water and uh, they say to flush it for a good 10 minutes or something like that just to kind of get it you know all the dust off the carbon blocks and all that good stuff so this is the first time hooking it up and running it and let's see what happens right now it should be coming out of the yeah and it should work when I turn this. Oh yeah. Fill it up there. Give it full blast. Oh, that's loose. Turn it off here. This thing is loose. Alright, tighten that up. Let's see how she runs now. Good, no leaking. Let's see it going through the all the blocks. As I say, where's it going? There it is. And the pressure's going up. Way up. Good. 50, 40. Making all sorts of noises. Didn't think it would make any noises. <laughs> wow, we're looking at 70 pounds of pressure here. Let's turn her down a little bit. Oh, there's my waist. Waist is running. Yeah, this is new for me, so this is the first time you and me are seeing this. Wow, the pressure gauge really is going crazy. Let's give it some more. Oh, wow. The pressure gauge really goes up. Okay, what do we got? I think it's still just going through the membrane at this point. I can feel it coming out. I can feel the water going through. The, it's just like vibrating kind of. Well, it's in the DI now. And my TDS meter is going nuts. They said it takes 10 minutes of running for it to be accurate, but it was at like 400 or something. But you know how that goes. It's probably crap from the carbon block making it like that. No good water yet, but hey. Gotta give it a little bit. It's filling up that DI. 